Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please do press that like button, please do subscribe. Do you like my new t-shirt? I've got it in time for Halloween. Punk, the Pumpkin King. This has come from the monthly tea club addressed to me, Crystal. I'm Crystal Alice. Me. So this t-shirt came to my flat, flat five, today. Um, I was leaving my flat at lunchtime and the post lady was coming up the path and she put this package in my post box because it fits in there. So guys, um, so let's carry on and tell you what's happened today. Um, at the moment, Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 3.03 p.m. So it's 3.03 p.m. I'm here in my flat in Rochester, Kent. So basically, I've been indoors all morning after I took Max out for a walk. I've made myself cups of coffee. I've potted around my flat. My mother, Jennifer, hasn't called since yesterday morning. So when that taxi driver that looked like Dodie Fayed, uh, Princess Diana's dead husband, my mum didn't ring me to see that I'd got home safely. She never rang. Normally she does. So the taxi driver that looked like Dodie Fayed, um, he... I asked him to park me round the back of the flats yesterday and my neighbour upstairs was coming into the flats as I was so my neighbour upstairs was coming into the flats as I was coming in through the back of the flats. Now I look like an overladen camel or a donkey, so I had a red backpack on and I had two bags in each arm. Now the one bag had two heavy bags of cat litter in it, so I had 15 litres of cat litter in my one hand. I had two plastic bags in the other, and I, I, and I was overladen and I was out of breath. Now there was no option for me to, but to go into the lift. Right? I had to go into the lift. I couldn't breathe properly. I felt unwell. I was tired. And there's no way I could have climbed 21 steps with that amount of baggage the way I was feeling. So the guy upstairs um, called the lift down. And, um, you know, I, I haven't met the guy upstairs. I've lived here for years and I haven't met him face to face. So it was difficult for me, but I had no choice but get to get in that lift. I thought maybe he would have pressed the lift and gone up himself to the second floor, but he didn't. I got into the lift. He asked me what floor I was going on. I said floor one. He let me off at floor one and he went up to the second floor. He was very polite and he was very nice. So I've got no... no no grudges against the guy upstairs, none at all. I wasn't angry. He was very polite, he was very nice, and that was it. There was no arguments, nothing. But I had to get into that lift because I couldn't climb the stairs with all the stuff my mum had overladen me with. 15 litres of cat litter, two boxes of pet food, I had a bag of heavy wet washing, and a backpack on my back. I can't walk up the stairs, I'm 55. I can't walk up the stairs with that amount of shopping. And I'm glad the guy, you know, opened the lift for me. I was grateful. So me and the guy upstairs were in the lift together, a man and a woman, because I'm a woman. The guy upstairs is a man, isn't it? So it's a man and a woman in the lift. Um, so today he's gone to work for 
first thing in the morning. I, 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 don't, I don't know anything about him. He's going to work. He gets up early. He works hard all week. And I stay at home because I'm disabled and on benefits. So this afternoon, right, you know, it does upset me the way I'm being treated. And the way he's being treated as well, because there's nothing wrong with him. He's a nice guy. He is a nice guy, right? I, and I don't think either of us look ugly. You know, we, we've lived lives. We've had hard lives. And you do look, you, that's the way you look. You don't look like a, a, a pretty person if you've gone through a hard life, do you? So what they're doing outside, taking the piss, I think he's despicable and terrible and I don't like it. Because when I went up to the co-op this morning, there's obviously cameras in those lifts, right? So I went to the shop. The guy upstairs went to work at six in the morning. There was a cleaning in progress sign in front of the door opposite me. Opposite me. Kim wasn't in there. And, um, you know, I just felt that the, the acting is awful, right? Nobody's ugly. Everybody has a right to walk down the pavement, a right to their privacy, and a right to be left alone. And if they are taking piss out of people behind their back for media entertainment purposes, they are disgusting, despicable animals, and they should be told to stop doing it. There was a couple that was supposed to be a funny version of me and the guy upstairs. So there was a young guy, same build as the guy upstairs with black hair, with an old lady of about 80, coming out of the co-op. I know what they do. I've lived here for three years. It's like a comedy set. It's like Big Brother gone wrong. And there are cameras in those lifts. And they're watching your every move. So at about two o'clock or just afterwards, I, I was going to take Max for a walk, and I'm going to tell you what happened yesterday. A guy called Mike, who said he was 69, and said he was from Birmingham, Stratford-upon-Avon area, started talking to me on Flirt Finder, then we exchanged numbers and went to WhatsApp. Now, I was talking to this Mike from Birmingham in the pitch black last night with his Birmingham accent. He was talking about naked, naked women, naked women. He was talking about bread knives and blood. He was scared, I was scared to death in my flat last night. He was talking about bread knives. He was talking about naked previous girlfriends and he was asking me for pictures of my boobs. And I'm getting sent pictures of an old man in a worker's fluorescent jacket. Now I stopped talking to him because he was pressurising me for boob pictures. So I stopped talking to him last night. I had to switch my phone off. First thing this morning, I get a message saying I'm at work, um, what are you doing? And then, you know, it progresses to what underwear have you got on? So I've blocked him. I've blocked him. I sent two pictures of myself before he started to get sexual. And now we've got the co-op Ugg lorry and they're my pictures, mine. So we've got the co-op UG lorry with the number plate UG for UG. And we've got an old man sitting on the bench that looked like Mike off a of flirt finder. And when he saw my camera come out, he ran off. The guy ran off down the path when he saw me get my camera out. He went. So what are they doing? Why would the guy run off? I posted pictures.
pictures of me and my mother Jennifer together on Facebook yesterday and my mother Jennifer is the one in the navy blue top and the jeans with the grey hair. I am the gingery redhead and they all know that. So I took Max out for a walk, the builders are building, there are bicycles everywhere because I told Isabel, the pervert said I was the bike of Rochester, so they're all peddling their bicycles, they're all peddling and I'm just walking, minding my own business because I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck anymore, you only, you've only got one life, right? And I'm not going to go out there dressed like a fucking old lady. And I have got boobs. So I'm not going to hide my, my female figure inside an old lady's coat. Who do you think I am? So as soon as I start to go outside and wear clothes that I show that I'm a woman, my boobs are misshaped, out comes the old glory and people taking the piss of what, out of what I look like. There was a, a, a person in front of me, I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman, it, the, the person concerned had enormous hips, so the person was about five foot four, the hips were out here, he had strange legs, the hips were out here, the legs were like really short, there was a black cap on, on I, I believe it was a woman, had a hat on, and a, and a jacket like mine, jogging around the field. I walked around the field, I tried not to get annoyed, there was a lot of people on the field for a change, because normally it's empty. A woman by, uh, riding a bicycle with what looked like a, a huge blonde wig, and there was some, a man and a son bicycling, bicycling around the field. I walked off the field and they start that racist abuse again towards me because I'm Genestra, right? They start taking the piss, putting things over their head, covering their head over. So they're doing it again. They should stop it. a name. Janestra is a name that I was given when I was born. I think they're absolutely disgusting animals. I think they should all be punished for what they're doing. And, and it, it's evil bullying. And it's all of them. They're listening to personal conversations. I was on the phone for two hours to Isabel talking about Charlie, the guy upstairs, how I'd suffered a load of noise. I end up in the lift with the guy upstairs and Charlie is walking around my, my area still. So after the phone call, two of the people I talked about, one I bumped into, the other one was wandering around the riverside near where I live. You telling me they're not listening to the conversation? Absolutely despicable and disgusting. So I've got some posts today. I'm looking forward to my Christmas tree. Oh, and by the way, they've cancelled my smart meter appointment tomorrow. Mine. After I told Mike that I didn't want to speak to him anymore and I blocked him. They've now punished me by cancelling my smart meter appointment. So I've now still got to enter the electricity manually into that smart meter. I will be making a complaint to British Gas. They owe me £30 for cancelling the appointment late because they said they were going to charge me £30 if I cancelled it. So they owe me £30. They're going to get a complaint 
and they better refund that money after wasting my time and keep sending fucking letters out six letters telling me I need to have my smart meter sorted out and they cancel the appointment they, 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 would, they would have taken 30 quid off me if I cancelled it so they can cough up 30 pounds they can bloody apologise in writing they're absolutely disgusting I've got a Tesco home delivery this evening. What people look like is irrelevant. You disgusting, shallow-minded, evil fucking cunts. See you later.